Good morning. I was just looking for the AI. I'm glad you're here because on today's Wednesday in the Woods, we'll be discussing digital and whether it can help us find the AI. So digital, what is it? What does it have to do with robotic process automation or machine learning? And again, how can it help us hunt down the elusive AI? Digital is, in essence, nothing more, in my opinion, than an effort to understand and improve the quality and efficiency of our organizations using digital technology. Ironically, digital technology is potentially 100 to 200 years old, depending on what definition you use for it. But apparently, we have only recently discovered in business the use of such technology. And so for many years, even predating our modern digital transformation abilities, we thought about improving our people, process, and technology through simple frameworks and more complex frameworks. Simpler, for example, including the PDCA, Plan, Do, Check, Act cycle, and more complex, such as Six Sigma, inspired by philosophies such as Kaizen. And so digital transformation or digital is really nothing more than planning, doing, checking, and acting in a fashion that utilizes modern digital technology. And this is connected to many of the other phrases that we may hear. So people, process, and technology drive almost all of these frameworks. And digital is, in my opinion, most especially focused on the improvement of processes that otherwise have yet to be fully technology enabled. This encapsulates not just design thinking using concepts such as user experience, but also incorporates other forms of process improvement or process consulting. Once such design thinking and process improvements have been completed, then organizations undergoing digital transformation typically move into the phase of automation. Automation is technically what a computer does, but again, apparently we have only recently discovered this phenomenon. And so phrases such as business process automation and robotic process automation refer to the idea that a process that was otherwise completed by a human, perhaps on a computer or not on a computer, is now completed by a computer, either completely or in part. It is taking a process identifying actions and changing where that action is performed or by whom that action is performed. That's it. Technology enablement of processes does not end simply with automation, however. In many contexts, the automation requires something in excess of moving a mouse around a previously human-oriented process. It may involve better understanding of what has happened or better prediction of what may occur. And so the phrases business intelligence and analytics and the more technical term statistics or colloquially data science terms typically refer to understanding the inputs or processes, uh, dynamics or outputs of the activities of a business. And when we do this in a forward looking way, we often call it predictive. And when we look at it from a causal or simply a historical perspective, the word predictive is not used. So these concepts are um, sometimes imbued with other connotations. So for example, business intelligence is almost always embedded in a conversation around reports, such as tables or charts, or as predictive analytics may not quite be so uh, tied to the concepts of visualization or presentation. But at the end of the day, these all come back to understanding data. And so you can see how a data strategy or digitalization is a requirement for digital transformation. If digital transformation is simply using the technology that we have today to provide better quality or efficiency, then we have no way of doing that either of executing on those processes 
or of understanding whether the processes were successful if we do not collect data around those processes. And the purposeful collection of data aligned with goals is a data strategy. Simply thinking about what we do, why we do it, and what we want the outcome of those actions to be is the first step. And we subsequently, in a data strategy, attempt to collect and properly store information related to answering those questions. And so we can see that digital transformation is deceptively simple. It is nothing more than doing our job using the technology that is available to us today. As managers, we care about quality. As managers, we care about efficiency. As managers, we should be aware of that which is available to us from a soft technology perspective, such as design thinking, or a hard technology perspective, such as neural networks. And by simply caring about efficiency, caring about quality, and solutioning using the tools that are available to us today, we can achieve digital transformation, possibly without even using such ridiculous terms. And so, unfortunately, we have yet to find the AI. But on next week's episode, I hope the concepts that we have uncovered today will assist us in our journey to track down this elusive beast. Good luck, and see you next week.